My name is Nikki. I'm an English makeup artist and I live with Carlo and our daughter Skye in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road but surrounded by fruit trees and olive groves and we grow our own food. We'll show you what it's really like to live on the Amalfi Coast. Subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. Now Carla told me this happened the other day. I just took three eggs out and Holly has come along and stolen one. Where is she and what has she done with it? <laughs> what have you done with my egg? What have you done with it? <laughs> what do you want to do with it? Hey? You've made a little hole in it. They're not for you. You're a funny little thing, aren't you? Can you bring it over here for me? She carried it all the way over here and there's just a little tiny hole in it. A funny dog. Is that your egg? The outer layer of our pineapple pool float popped. So that's what we have left. We've just got the middle bit. It does not look like a pineapple anymore. Anyhow, Carlo is up to something. Let's go and have a look. What are you making? Dove? This ah. <laughs> Okay. 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 My herb garden has become rather overgrown. This was a tiny, tiny little lemongrass, no, lemon balm plant. I think it's lemon balm. It's an odor incredible mm. me piace. It smells very lemony. It's more lemony than lemons, so we put lots of leaves in jugs of water. Allora, sto togliendo questi perché quando abbiamo messo questo l'anno scorso Era un piccolo cespuglio. A me non piace come cespuglio, a me piace come alberello. Quindi tagliando tutto questo intorno, questo diventerà più spesso e diventerà come un alberello e non un cespuglio.
few people ask if we are vegetarian or if we ever meet, ever eat meat. Uh, yeah, we're not vegetarian, we do eat meat, but quite rarely because it is much easier for me to pop out into the garden and pick a load of vegetables than climb 500 steps, get my scooter, drive all the way down to Positano, find somewhere to park, go to the butcher shop if it's open because of the opening hours and the days off and all that, and then come all the way back again. So I much prefer being able to make meals out of what I have in the garden at the time. I do have some chicken and some minced meat and possibly some sausage in the freezer, and every now and again I'll get a bit out and use it, but I tend to feed most of mine to the dog anyway. I don't eat much meat. Carla doesn't really miss it. Every now and again he'll have a steak or we'll do a barbecue. But it's not very often, I must say. Anyway, today I'm going to do some um, melanzane funghetti, which sort of translates to melanzane, uh, to eggplant with mushrooms, but it's not. It's eggplant with tomatoes cooked together. So I've just picked some from the garden and I'm just going to chop these up into cubes and just leave them in some salt water for about 15 minutes and then I will make it. I think I've shown this before so you don't really need to see it but I'll just quickly show what I'm doing. I am just cooking off the melanzani, the um, aubergines and then I'm going to add some chopped tomatoes, some basil, some onion and a few capers. I'm also cooking some lentils and to them I'm going to add some red pepper that needs to be used up from the fridge and some chopped onion. I'm basically trying to make a meal out of just what needs to be used up. So I've also got a bit left over from dinner last night with some roast potatoes and a little bit of sausage. I've got a ton of eggs outside because we haven't used them for a while. So I'm going to just whip up a little omelette and then that's three different things for lunch. So it's a bit of a mishmash of a lunch, but that's fine. It's just two of us and it's all healthy apart from the sausage. That one is done and the lentils are nearly done but they can be a bit boring by themselves so I'm going to mix up a little um, dressing to go on the lentils and I'm going to use some fresh mint leaves and some fresh rosemary, olive oil, a bit of balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper and then stir all that in and it's really nice. Just give it a bit of extra flavour. There's our sausage omelette, our melanzana funghetto, some lentils with some herb dressing, a few grapes in the garden, tomatoes left over and a couple of hard boiled eggs which we probably won't eat now, just there on the table. This is some of the damage that that fire did a couple of weeks ago. Bare mountainside, rocks ready to fall. And because of this, the road has been closed for the last two weeks. And it just closed halfway between Positano and Praiano, so we can't go anywhere. We did have plans to go to Ravenna today, and obviously <laughs> We've got no chance of getting there. I also have a wedding in Amalfi tomorrow, so that's going to be interesting. I think I will just catch the ferry tomorrow. But now we've um, got no plans. We were going to take you to Ravello for the day, show you around the gardens and have lunch. And we've got to think of something else to do now. Let's have a think. And that was probably the quickest day out ever. And this is possibly going to be one of the shortest videos that I do ever. Yeah, so the road's closed. It's been closed for over two weeks now. And um, that is a big disadvantage created by the fire that was purposely set. When we arrived at the road closure in Priana there, Carla let out a very, very long string of swear words that went on for quite a while. And um, 
it's a very frustrating feeling when you literally can't get out the town you're in. We could go the other way, but honestly, there's not really anything that we want to do the other way. And once we've left our house down there, we're pretty much stuck the way we are. We can't quickly pop back home and get our swimwear or get a pair of trainers to go walking in the mountains. We came out prepared to go to Ravello and I'm wearing sandals, not trainers. We haven't got swimwear. We can't go to the beach. Um, it's very hot today as well, so we're quite limited as to what else we could have done. So yeah, we're heading home and I think Carlo might have something to say about the whole fire um, road closure situation. I feel really uncomfortable with the arsonist. Mm -hmm. Gente che provoca incendi because uh, I, I am very hungry. Um, I think these people is, is, a, is a not punished. Punished. Punished planet Earth. We'd be better without the humans. Because humans is a cancer for the world. The humans stay here in uh, planet Earth. But some people is, a, is a really, really evil. The arsonist is a, is a first category evil. And uh, I think uh, these people is a... Is a... How do you say it? Peggio del peggio del peggio. The worst of the worst of the worst. <laughs> the worst. The worst. The, the worst. Vorrei che sparissero dalla faccia della terra. Loro gli assassini, i supratori, dovrebbero scomparire, semplicemente questo. Non devono soffrire né altro, semplicemente gone. A che cosa servono queste persone? A fare soffrire le altre persone? Fare soffrire il pianeta Terra? Non c'è senso in questo. Ok, that's enough for now. <ride> have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says I just have to follow that because you don't know who you're gonna be who you're gonna be who you're gonna be <laughs> have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough 
life and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that because you don't know who you are.